Hello and welcome. The Art Collectors Guild selection for you now is Edgar Degas' Two Ballerinas. The original of this is in the Courtauld Institute Galleries in London, England. Edgar Degas was born in Paris in 1834 and he died there in 1917. He came from a banking family who wanted him to study law and go into business. But he had the heart and the soul of an artist, so he dropped out of law school and he went to study with a student of Ingres, Louis Lamotte. And after studying with him, he became so involved and infatuated with art that he decided he needed to go to Italy. And he went there for five years where he studied the classical 15th and 16th well, these were the, during the 15th and 16th century, these were the paintings that the classicists did. So he really got to know the human form. When he returned to Paris, he began painting portraits of his family, his friends, and then he began to exhibit every year in the annual Salon. This is where all of the artists showed their work. And he was exhibiting there for about six years when he realized that this was not for him. He met up with Monet and Renoir, and this opened up the world to him. These were the Impressionists because Degas was a real bon vivant. He loved Paris. He loved going to the racetrack. He loved going out to the restaurants, the theater, the opera. But most of all, he loved the ballet and the dancers. And that's why the Art Collectors Guild has this incredible selection, the two ballerinas. Look at this piece. There they are. They're two lovely ballerinas. The first one is on point. You can see her pink toe shoes. He even manages to capture the transparency of the lace of her tutu. You can look up at her legs. There's an etherealness to this. She's wearing pink roses on her tutu. She has pink roses in her couronne, or the crown around her head. She's about to come downstage on her pas de bourrée. If we're sitting in the audience, we're expecting her to dance right towards us. The other ballerina is just waiting. She's standing there waiting so graciously and gracefully with the Quran of the green and the yellow roses. This is a just, it's a two-dimensional picture. It's a flat surface. But if we're in the audience, we look like we're looking at a 3D picture. We can see the stage. Look at how he's mottled the stage, the colors on the stage. Even the background that he has for us here. The scenery, it's the forest and the woods. Now we know that this is two-dimensional, but we feel as if we're looking at a 3D piece. We stop, we pause, we can even hear the music that's going to be played. If you have a little girl and she looks at this, her dream is going to be a ballerina. She's going to go to sleep at night and want to leap into the air. So why don't we just take a deep breath and we can float float, float into the air when we look at this. The two ballerinas, they're magnificent. So remember, Edgar Degas' Two Ballerinas, the Art Collectors Guild selection for you now. Art is forever. Thank you.